Welcome back to old Rob Nine's YouTube channel. Appreciate you. I think today we're gonna build us a, uh, a spine. I think I'm gonna go five foot tall with it, seven foot transition, <clears throat> give it a little bit of and uh, and see what we can do, man. See what we can do. But I think that I'll take you guys through the build process. I've built a couple of these things, so uh, I kind of got a build for it now. Uh, walk you through. Show you guys tools, all the wood, blah 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 blah, blah that you're gonna need, and show you how to assemble this damn thing. Let's get started. Alright. <clears throat> First thing you're gonna need a pair of weekend sandals. Cause this is the weekend and uh I ain't wearing no damn work shoes on the weekend. Tools, hammer, some markers tape measure that ain't a piece of crap because you want something good preferably milwaukee best tool on the planet framing square speed square anything square okay you're gonna need some rope you don't need necessarily this long but i use this shit all the time so i got that that's what i'm gonna use gonna need screws i've got and some five eight screws and i've got two and a quarter inch screws okay you'll see why okay get into this here video Another tool you're gonna need, impact, drill. I prefer impact, I totally would get an impact. If you guys try to do this shit with a drill, it's gonna suck ass. Impact's the way to go. A Milwaukee impact. Not sponsored by Milwaukee, but I promise you, get you a new blade. You're gonna need a good blade for this, brand new, get you a brand new blade, okay? Saw, gotta have it. I don't really know if I'm gonna need the saws all, but if I wanna lop something off, you know, I got it, you okay? So these here components, We'll pretty much get everything done wood I've got a little variety up here I got some two by sixes I've got 10 foot long two by six I got white pine all right you want to get treated you want to go big dollars high dollars okay go for it all right this little spine here can cost me about 450 500 dollars okay to build believe it or not I got 376 dollars in lumber 50 dollars in screws so far and then I'm gonna have to probably get uh, a gallon of paint gallon and a half of paint anyway so anyway two by sixes got some two by fours by ten foot two by four by ten two by six by ten or two buys okay underneath of there we got some sheets i'll show you guys that got uh some five eighths uh plywood and some three eighths plywood okay so anyways let's get started all right i got my helper jester He's out here. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take like marker, just here rope. You're gonna need that down there, okay? Tape in you're gonna need that down there. Now, if you're going for something like I'm going, okay? If you're going over five foot, you're gonna have to stack two sheets of wood like this. If you've noticed, that is two sheets of wood. Okay, so is what we have here is an eight foot by eight foot square. Okay. Now if your ramp that you're building, okay, is smaller than five foot, you don't need the second sheet. You just need the one. Okay? So anyway. This is what you are gonna need to do to get anything over eight foot, okay? Now if you're gonna go further than anyway if you're going further than that, anyway that's on a totally different deal this is eight foot so this is what we're going to go with so in other words is what you're going to do is you're going to measure up one side five foot because that's where you want five foot to be right and you're going to do the little radius line i'm going to show you guys how to do the radius line all right we're going to show you guys how to do that and we're going to put a seven foot radius on this ramp so anyway let me get this phone i'm gonna try pop we'll show you how to do this here all right, so what I did is I went ahead and prepped this sheet out. <clears throat> went ahead and got her started. That way I didn't have to waste a bunch of time. I can just show you guys how to do this. It's really simple. So, like I say, we were saying that we wanted a 7-foot radius, correct? So, imagine that this right side over here is the high side of my jump, okay? That's the top of the lip over there. So that's where I'm jumping from. That's my high point. The ramp's going to radius down this way, okay, to the point, okay? So from the high side 
towards the beginning of the ramp you want to pull pull from your right side over this way you want to bring it over seven foot or six foot whatever you want your radius to be if you want a six foot radius pull six foot off that right corner so whatever you want it to be i wanted seven foot so i went ahead and i marked my seven foot spot okay that's right there okay so that's where i want my rope to start from that's where i want to start swinging from up here at the top because this is where we want to swing from right that we got to have a swinging point you want to pull from the bottom of your sheet right here so this would be we was back at your sheet again we're going to pull from the bottom left hand side here i'm even going to demonstrate so that way you understand what i'm saying pulling is pulling your tape measure from that bottom we're going to bring it up right we need to come up seven foot because a seven foot radius requires a seven foot rope eight foot radius eight foot rope whatever you want to use two by four however you want to do it but whatever and again down there we were seven foot not eight so being that it's seven foot you got to bring seven foot over so we brought it over a foot so you want to bring this over to a foot you want to bring up seven foot bring this over a foot mark me a little x see how my nails in that x right there because that's one foot from the side of the sheet seven foot from the bottom that's going to start my sweep so with all of this in mind seven foot here at the bottom for your seven foot radius seven foot at the top need in mind we're a foot in so we have to be a foot in at the top all right now up here remember i said i wanted this thing five foot tall so there's my five foot mark right so, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tie this rope onto that little nail right there that rope's going to get tied on there this little rope right here tied to that nail brought down here to my seven foot mark tied to a marker and i'm going to show you guys how to do this and you're going to pull it up to that five foot so and this probably be a good time for me to say okay so this ramp is going to sit flat on the ground for instance just like the rest of my ramps they sit off the ground guys i'm not building a base these aren't this isn't a half pipe so these come off the ground okay so as you notice your radius is going to come to nothing okay works out good it's like oh man that little flimsy i have rode the hell out of this ramp old boost button there she gets her done anyway she's going to be going to a new home so let me rig this thing all up show you guys how to draw this line then we'll get our radiuses make a bunch of these there you go your ramps almost built okay so look loose little knot doesn't need to be tight around there okay you don't want the damn thing to stay still you want to just pivot on there all right so you just want to loop nice little loose knot gonna follow that down gonna tie that onto my marker and as you can see my marker will start right there from zero from the point to bam bam so that's gonna start we're gonna start our swing right there you see how that works that's a pendulum type thing at least that's what i think it's called i'm not sure i did not graduate guys i'm a roofer totally sorry let me show you how this is done all right here she goes take it put it right there on your mark bye bye and then we just want to swing guys look at the ramp there it is, it's being built, it's forming. We got some rough plywood, so that's kind of leaving me a kind of a poopy, kind of a poopy uh, feel there. And there it is. Okay, so five foot, bam, we don't need to go no further. This is done. Okay. This is done. So as you can see, we have built, man, I might go eight foot. Not go eight foot. No, no. I think that's gonna be perfect. I think it is. I think it's gonna be perfect. I like it. Cause my little lip up there it comes out perfect. Okay. So, yep. Mm-hmm. All right. So as you can see, we'll make a little square edge right there, and that's gonna be the top. Okay. It's gonna be a two by four wide. So that's about a two by four. Worked out perfect, believe it or not. Five foot by seven foot worked out great. So that's it. So you're gonna need a full sheet. A little bitty bit. Little bitty bit of that sucker. Little bitty bit. It's okay though. I got little bitty bits all over the place. So anyway, let me get this thing cut. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna cut it with this saw. All right. You don't need no crazy old uh, uh, whatever that 
crazy saw is. I don't even know what it is because, man, you know what I'm saying? That's for people that, like, don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know, okay? This saw right here will cut a radius any day of the week, okay? I'm going to show you how. It's very easy. You have to set your depth. That's simple. But anyway, um, let me get let me get this set up here. All right, so look, fellas. You take this thing, you loosen it. You want your deal, okay? Doing that number, all right? See that? You want that number going on. Loosen it up. Take your saw, open her up. Set it down on the sheet. Lay your saw flat, okay? You want that? You want the table be touching the wood flat like it was going to be cutting. The bottom of the blade, barely. Just barely. I mean, perfectly level. If it perfectly level is perfect, okay? Perfectly level, as you can see, like right there, will cut through that wood perfectly round just like a oh jigsaw that's what it's called a jigsaw so anyway that right there set just like that perfectly low okay nice and simple you don't need to have the blade coming six inches through the bottom of the sheet of wood okay so anyway that's how you set up the saw okay so now that's that's all we'll cut all day long after i put that new blade right there in it As you can see, put some two by fours down underneath my wood to get it up off the concrete. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to take a twenty dollar blade, and burn it through the asphalt. Number one thing you're gonna need: safety glasses. Safety glasses, guys. Got to have. I had twelve pieces of steel took out of my eye. You don't want that. Okay. So. There's two lines because I tried to decide if I wanted an eight foot or a seven foot. And I like seven foot. I think it's steeper. I like it. Like that's gonna shoot me up. Let go, let me shoot. All right. You want this side of the ramp? You cut on this side of the line. Okay. You want to kind of leave that line a little bit. You don't want to cut too much of it out. So anyway, let's start. I'll show you how this works. <laughs> To the moon, Batman, to the moon. Five foot is looking scary as shit. Holy hell. Holy hell. What have I created? This is going to be something, guys. All right, you're either going to see me build the craziest jump and possibly really get hurt. <laughs> or, man, this thing's going to be the greatest of all time. But anyway. Basically, you need to lay out a bunch of those on those, trace them out. You need four of those. Well, if you're making a quarter pipe, because this is like, um, this is kind of like quarter pipe slash, quarter pipe slash uh, half pipe. So, if you want to make a half pipe, out to out, you know, in between your driveway, two, two quarters, that's what I'm building is two separate quarters so that I can do all kinds of stuff with them. Half pipe, uh, spine, maybe do a hip turn them into in, or turn them sideways you know so we're gonna do a bunch of stuff but basically we need four of those we need four of those we're gonna do it right now all right so i laid me a piece yeah i'm gonna cut my cut piece on there this is the one i just cut that's the one that that's the other side of it guys 
that's the other side of it by the way okay so that, them are still the same I just took and make I'm gonna make one side or two sides out of one sheet okay so you're gonna have a little football left but uh you lay them out line that edge up line your bottom edge up okay so bottom or well bottom edge side edge line them up marker take going going to trace we are going to trace out this oh, oh don't stand on your sheet don't stand on your sheet nope I probably didn't even get that in frame who knows but I'm gonna trace that whole thing okay so I just traced that whole thing right not not you know screwing up or nothing got it all traced here's the trick guys this right here put an X on it reason being that's gonna say that's my tracer that's my first piece that's the one that you want to trace with okay you don't want to cut that bottom one and then trace off of it because each one's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger okay so you just want to use one with the X on it that you put on there as your tracer same with your other piece whenever you make these little ones you got your X on there that's your tracer okay you're gonna make three other pieces besides that one so anyway alrighty so I'm gonna make four of these things I'm gonna make four of those things real quick and then we get back to you. Alright, so that's that's what it's gonna look like, guys. I'm gonna be able to jump my friggin' truck after this. Man, that's serious. Intimidating. I'll make it ten foot wide. Well I can do something with it. So like I say, anyway, made four. One, two, three, four. Got four there. You guys don't beat yourself up if your radius is ain't perfect. Look at that. Okay, look at how off they are. They're they're crazy, all right? They're crazy. They're crazy, guys. And we even used a template. So don't beat yourselves up. It's no big deal. You won't even notice it. You will not notice it at all, okay? It's no big deal. You don't have to trim them and make sure they're 100% perfect. If you want to, you're more than welcome to. But anyway, you make four of these. That's going to bring you up to your five foot. Now you got your templates. It's time to erect these things. One thing... God, he's lazy. Eats, shits, and sleeps. That's it. In a perfect world, guys, you say I want a 10-foot 2x4 and a 10-foot 2x6. In a perfect world, not like this one, it would be exactly 10 foot. Let me get over here. I, I screwed up. I needed my tape measure. But unfortunately, for some friggin' weird reason, okay... They can't get them right. And they're always a little bit extra, you know. Okay, so this fucker's going to make a liar out of me. He's 10 foot on the nose. Now, if you went and got a bunch of boards, dude, and all of them are exactly so. Okay, there we go. See how he's 10, 10 and an eighth? So that's 10 and an eighth an inch. I got to take that eighth inch off, all right? If you're going 10 foot, they got to all be exactly 10 foot. If you're going 8 foot, got to be 8 foot, 5 foot, you know what I mean? You can make whatever size you want out of this. Here, a little video. You can make 10 foot, 8 foot, 5 foot, 4 foot, 3 foot. Make a little kicker ramp, whatever you want. But anyway, you got to cut all those 2 by 4s and all those 2 by 6s You got to cut those down to exactly 10 foot, 8 foot, whatever your footage is, okay? Because they're not exact, okay? So after you do that, after you trim all your 2 bys it's a lot of trimming. You got to trim them all. Once you trim them all, then you can start assembling this thing. It's that easy. So, I'm going to get to trimming my boards. Once I'm done trimming my boards, I'll get back with you. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys why you needed this, okay? Why you need a square. And I'll tell you, this is the best one you can use, okay? Because you can just hook it. You can just hook it right on there, and that square right there. See, that's it's hooked. See how, that, see how that's beveled there? It just hooks. So, this is my 10-foot line right here. So, is what I use this for is to draw a straight line. As you can see, there it is. Take a pin and draw right along the edge there. That's where you're cutting. Get a nice straight cut. All right, so after you're done cutting all your wood there, big old stack of gosh damn cut wood there, okay? All 10 exact in, 10 exact feet to the daggum T, because you want them perfect. You want them nice, okay? You come over here. This is your next step. I already went ahead and laid it out for you. Take a tape measure, 
I'm doing a two by six at the top. So at this very top right here is going to be a two by six across the top because I want some strength on the top so I can do, you know, like when I jump up there and do peg stall and stuff. Okay. From that point at the bottom of my two by six, okay, because that's five and a half inches right there. Blah, 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 blah. That's my two by six. So from right there down 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to measure 10 inches in between each one of these deals, okay? You want to get you some 10 inch lines all the way to the bottom. Okay, that's my last two by six. I'm gonna use one by down here. Anyway, then after you've measured them, take your marker, go across there, mark them all. See that, marking them all, oh, 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 oh. mark them all across, mark them all across. Those are your studs. That way they're evenly across, even the exact same spot, okay? That is where you're going to screw your two by fours to. Okay, anyway. All right, so that, that, there you go. Mm -hmm. All right, so at the beginning of this here video, we noticed I had two different length screws. This is to put the sheeting on the ramp. This is to put the studs in the ramp. So in other words, we're going to start putting these two bys across this here. That's going to stand up, of course. That's laying down. I got to stand it up. The hardest part is getting the first one in, getting them both standing on their own with a two by four in the spot. So in other words, I'm gonna take that two by four, we're gonna stand it up, we're gonna start it right here because this is a two by four spot. Cause that's two by six, two by four, two by six, two by four, two by four, two by four. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna sneak a couple two by sixes in. At the top, one at the top, up there, one at the top. One about right here in the middle, probably right there, just to give it some stability. You know, I mean, this thing's gonna be ten foot wide. It's gonna be kind of wide, as we can see. It's gonna be some damn dog, goddamn dog. I tell you, worthless, worthless. No, not really. He's a good dog. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna set this tripod up. Show you guys how to throw this in here. It's gonna be difficult, but I'll get it done. sure that this is what's critical okay this is how you do it so as you're laying this board in here as you can see that thing's not straight up and down it's curved and the reason it's curved is because it's plush the top of this two by four is just plush with your ramp right there you see how that works so look at that that's how it should look okay nice and plush da 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 and get a bunch of them going down there Okay, all the way to the top. You'll lace that bad boy, boom, 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 boom. Get you a bunch of them in there. Get it framed up. And guess what? You got a freaking ramp, dude. It's there. I mean, this thing goes quick. Once you get it cut, then it's go time. So you and a couple buddies, I mean, me by myself, takes me. it's going to take me a while. Filming all that junk, you know, blah, 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 blah. But if you ain't filming and your buddies might help you, this, you guys could probably throw this thing together in about three hours, you know, be riding in four. So, anyway, I'm going to get all these little deals in here. We'll check back and see how it looks. All right, so I got everything framed up. I went ahead and started throwing some sheets on here, kind of see what we got going here. So, if you noticed, I've got an, I got wider than an eight-foot ramp, okay? It's an eight-foot sheet. It's a ten-foot ramp. So with that being said, I had to stagger my sheets. So if you notice, top sheet's all the way to the left. That middle sheet there is to the right. My bottom sheet will go back to the left. You stagger your sheets. You don't want your seams on seams, okay? Makes it weak. So, anyways, screw some of these boards on here and uh, get this thing decked. And we're about done. Uh, I kind of missed a, I kind of missed a spot. I'm not gonna lie. I put a brace in, got a brace, top corner to bottom corner, give it some stability. But uh, other than that, it's working out pretty good. Not bad, I'm liking it. Um, yep, it's gonna be rideable. So, long story short, we're getting this thing done. Got one side built, got a whole nother side to go.
And there it is, y'all. Final product. I think I might put another layer of wood on it. I thought I put enough studs in it, but oh, I did not. So I think I might have to put another layer. I put some studs in it. But that's just one, guys. That's just one. Remember, we're making two. Making two. Note to self measure driveway before building ramp. <laughs> I got lucky man I, I saved myself about four inches over there on the on the side there I mean this is perfectly the size of my driveway but I officially have a quarter pipe so pile of wood pile of wood one cut template I think we got another one over here yeah we got another template right there or not template transition whatever you call those and it's time for round two all right, start ramp number two. <sighs> Pain in the booty. And it is warm. It's like 90 out. Anyway, but I'm in the shade. So I'm going to show you guys my trick as to how I'm hanging these boards in between here by myself. Okay. Take your screws, go on one side because you got your marks, you know, your marks on top of your board where all your screws are supposed to go because we marked those at the beginning. Take your screws and go ahead and start them. Pre start them. Bring them out the back. See how the tips are sticking out? Those are gonna act as little partners. Those are little buddies helping me out along the way, okay? On the other side of the ramp, you do the opposite. You don't let them hang out, okay? You keep them inside that board. Keep them inside the board. I'm gonna show you what I do. All right. You take your drill. Make sure you got a screw in your hole. You're gonna leave some sticking out, you do. You do. You just wanna leave some sticking out. You take this board. You sit it on that screw right there like that. And just kind of stick it. Bring your board that you need to bring in here. Set it where you want it. And watch this. Bam. 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 Now you come over here, right? You want to back this screw out a little bit. Just back him up. Back him up a little. Get your board in place. And screw it back in. Bam. You got a board in. Alright, that simple. Really easy. Not hard. Probably should have did that before. But, now you know. Ramp number two. Be framed. Well, I got to do the back, but. For the most part, the transition's done. I got it all framed up, done, da, 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 da. I even put a nice little one by on the bottom, guys. That's a, that's a one by right there. One by board. A little bit thin guy, but you know what? It helps. It helps. A little something in between there. Anyway. <sighs> Hopefully it'll look like that for too long. Goodness gracious, it's hot. Ready. There it is, all done. <laughs> Didn't exactly mean for it to be the size of my driveway, I'm just glad that it's not any bigger. <laughs> all right, so here we go, ready? Spinal. All right, boys and girls, there's your spine. And I split it, I made it two. That way that I got a spine, turn them both, guess what I got, a half pipe. Got one of them, got a quarter pipe, yeah. Three and one right there, guys. Not gonna lie, that was a little bit pricey. That was a little pricier than I thought it was gonna be. I guess, if I was to guess, that son of a gun ran me probably about 600 bucks. About 600 bucks for those two. But, that's a, uh, that's a five footer with a seven foot transition. There's a lot of wood there. So anyway, I keep saying, guys, love your neighbor. Love yourself. We only got each other in this world. So, anyway, grab your BMX bike. See if you can't get some bruises, broken bones. Think I'm going to take the day off. It's, it's, it's warm out. Probably ride it tomorrow. Or, well, paint it. I'm going to paint it tomorrow. I think I'm going to do a, a little surprise paint job. So, in my riding video that I do on this here um, <clears throat> ramp, will be... Uh, 
probably gonna it might have a surprise. I'm gonna have a surprise paint job, guys. Okay? So anyway. Like, subscribe, thanks for watching, listening to my ass mumble. Anyway, you guys have a good day.